Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not launching on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, scroll down. Here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. Download x86 and x64. So download this file. Now run this exe file. Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, click on install. Click on yes to allow. Now, download this x64 file as well. And then run this exe file. Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see install, click on install. Click on yes to allow. And let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once installed, you can close this. And then you can restart your computer. Make sure that you restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check still not working. The next step is to copy all files from this location, from your game installation folder, from this location to this location. Now for this, you can just go to Steam, make a right click on the game, manage browse local files. Now open bin folder and open this Win64 shared folder and then copy all this, all these files. You can copy this and then go back and you can paste this to this location now before you paste this you can just create a backup of this folder make a right click and then copy this and then maybe you can paste it to the desktop once you have a backup now you can copy all the files from this folder and then go back open this folder and paste all the file over here once this is done now you can launch the game and then check if you face any problem you can just replace this folder with the original one you can put it back now next step is to delete the shaders folder in this location now for this open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open saved game folders now open the game folder over here open save uh, sorry go back delete this shaders folder make a right click and delete it and once this is done launch the game and then check next step is to try debug mode in nvidia control panel now for this uh, you can go to desktop make a right click on the desktop show more option click on nvidia control panel and once nvidia control panel is open at the top here you can see help option select help click on it and then click on debug mode and then launch the game and then check next step is to optimize the game in nvidia app so if you're using nvidia app you can open nvidia app now once you open nvidia app once nvidia app is open now go to graphics now over here select the game now once you select the game here you can see the optimize option click on optimize once the optimize is done now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to exit riot vanguard so if you play valorant game if you have over here at the taskbar on the taskbar here you can see hidden items so if you see riot vanguard over here you can just close riot vanguard and then launch the game next step is to rename or delete the save game files but when you rename or delete the save game files you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from start so you can go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now over here you can see saved games folder now before you make any changes just copy this folder just create a backup of save game and paste the folder over here now once you have a backup now you can make changes so you can just make a right click and then you can rename it or you can even delete it so just rename it to dot old and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even delete it but you will lose all the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch and then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. Make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11. Now you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can just type in dash DX12, launch the game and then check. Still not working, you can remove this and follow the next step. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder so for this make a right click on the game select manage browse local files now open the bin folder and then 
find the game exe file so here you can see the game exe file wherever you have the game exe file just look for the game exe file i think that's the one this one open this folder open this folder and then select the game exe file so you can make a right click on the game exe file select properties and then go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator and then hit apply click on ok and make a double click launch the game and then check if that does not work again go to properties put a check over here uh, go to this tab put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check it's still not working put a check on disable full screen automation hit apply click on ok and then launch the game and then check still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 if you have windows 10 click on update and security now click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder so uh, open c drive if you have the game on c drive open program file 686 and then open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder open the common folder and then open the game folder bin folder and then open this folder select this exe file and then click on open browse all apps select all the exe file browse go back and find if you see any other exe file yeah that's the one once the game is added now type in control panel in windows search box go to uh, system and security windows defender firewall and then click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder in the steam apps folder common folder open the game folder bin and select this exe file and then click on open click on add in my case the game is already added again click on allow another app click on browse select all the exe file click on add now once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check still not working now the next step is to verify the game file this is important so make a right click on the game select properties go to installed files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest ge force game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd card user first of all uninstall the current version of graphic card driver restart your computer and then go to amd website select your graphic card install the latest graphic card driver restart your computer and then launch the game 
Also run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphics settings in Windows search box, go to graphics settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder. Open the game folder and then bin folder and select this exe file. Click on add. Once the game is added over here, so find the game in the list. Once you find the game, click on it and then select high performance. You will see your graphic card. Select your graphic card over here and then launch the game. Next step is to roll back graphics driver. So if the current driver is not working, the latest one is not working, you can go to i'm showing for nvidia so go to md website uh, sorry nvidia website and select your graphic card from the list select your operating system click on find and then on this page scroll down click on view more versions now for many users this version has worked that is 566.03 you can roll back to the previous driver so right now the latest GeForce game ready driver is 572.42. Uh, you can try 572.16 or maybe 566.36. But for many users, this has worked 566.03. And for few users, few users, even 560.94 has worked. So if you see 560.94, you can even try this. So try to roll back graphics driver. But when you go for the installation, make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation, then restart your computer and then launch the game. Now for AMD users, install this AMD optional update. So you can go to uh, AMD website. Uh, you can in Google, you can type in this AMD 25.1.1 optional update and then go to AMD website only and then scroll down over here. You can see AMD optional update. Click on it. And once the download is complete, you can run this exe file, install it, restart your computer, and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to close all the overclocking application. Like if you have, if you are running this MSI Afterburner, or if you are running a Reva Tuner. So if you have any kind of overclocking application, you can close it. So you can, if you have this running, uh, just close it. Like. You can just make a right click over here and then close MSI Afterburner, make a right click, close River Tuner. If you have any other overclocking application, close it. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Disable overlay, Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to general tab and turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then launch the game. If you have any other overlay application like Discord running or NVIDIA app running, if you have NVIDIA app running, you can go to settings and then turn off NVIDIA overlay over here. If you have Discord running, go to Discord settings and then turn off overlay or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also, if you have any kind of Razer peripheral software running, close it. Unplug all the external devices from the computer. So if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of any kind of kind of USB adapter which you are not using, disconnect it. If you have extra controller connected, disconnect it, launch the game and then check. If you have any kind of third party services running, close it and then launch the game. Update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So go to Windows update and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, restart your computer. And then check. Make sure that your Windows is up to date uh, to the latest version. So right now the latest version is version 24H2 so you can update your windows to version 24H2 and then launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram 
so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the bios this is important so go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell website if you have lenovo to go to lenovo so select your model number and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game now you can skip this step if you are not able to launch the game but if you are able to launch the game turn off dlss now this has worked for many players so it might work for you so turn off dlss switch to window mode and lower down your resolution if this is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more and if graphics like preset is set to ultra or high you can set it to medium or low quality and then check so if you are able to launch the game launch the game and then first of all turn off dlss so you can go to settings in the game and then go to graphic settings and over here scroll down now over here you can see resolution scaling now if dlss is selected you can just turn it off and then if it is set to full screen uh, you can try window mode and if the resolution is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more and then confirm the settings and you can go to advanced graphic settings also uh, here you can see i have set it to medium so if this is set to high you can set it to medium or low and then check confirm the settings and then check now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can make a right click on the game select manage click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel